photographs I like the best don't tell you everything. Um, I think still photographs will let the viewer read a lot more into it. There's a lot of gaps, but I think that's sort of part of the fun of photographs. They don't tell you everything. My friend came to a meeting and said, hey, I know this guy, Alex Sutton, and he's a Iraq vet. He's trying to start a small scale farm, sort of to help him with his PTSD and um, just sort of reintegrate into society. Alex is from Iowa, joined the army when he was 17, right out of high school. He grew up on a farm and he found that the animals helped him calm down. Currently, yeah, it seems to be a real movement to get veterans interested in farming from a practical level because the United States needs farmers. You obviously have a huge amount of men and women coming back who know how to get up early, know how to work really hard, are dedicated when they find something they want to work towards. My experience with talking to a lot of people has been that they, the veterans still want to feel like they're doing something for the greater good. I know for Alex that's really important. I think for a lot of other people it is as well. Our plan is to go, yes, on the traditional sort of film festival circuit, but we have spent a lot of time creating an outreach network to get it out, not just to like the artsy film crowd. That, if that's the only people that saw this, I would feel like I failed. I definitely learned a lot about what it's like to go through what he's going through on a day-to-day -day basis. On a day-to-day -day level, what are the things that come up? Like, what's it like when you sort of flash back to some other country and some other year and like you're sort of stuck in that place, but also what it's like to migrate out of those dark areas and find not peace, but a little less tension. And I've met people who've had similar experiences, but I don't, I don't know them as intimately as I know Alex. I mean, I spent 18 months now working with him.